Massachusetts, including the Prudential Center, Cambridge Side Galleria, and the Natick Mall. Phantom gives California Pizza Kitchen a total of 72 Phantom Med Cements. Well, I've always wanted to toss some pizza dough up in the air, like the apron, by the way. And now I'm finally going to get my shot. We're learning how to make a perfect pizza at home with cooking instructor Katie Wilton. Welcome to the Phantom Gourmet. Thank you very I've much. I've got to tell you, I've always wanted to do this. What's the secret to uh, tossing good pizza dough? The secret is that you've got to have your dough rolled out perfectly. Then the key is fists, not fingers. So, fists, not fingers. Right. So what you're going to do is you're going to take the dough. The point is you want to stretch it. So you take your fist, you stretch, and then you got to rotate. So you flip and bring it down again. Stretch, flip, and rotate. Perfect. There you go. Now, that when I make pizzas, I like to use a pizza stone. So what I, what's important to remember is that you put on some cornmeal or semolina, and then we're going to place the dough on here. Big mistake. Sometimes people decorate on the counter, and then you got to get it onto your uh, to your peel. So key to do that. What about the height, though? Height is fun. Yeah. You got to you know when you're working with kids, they is love to do it. Perfect. Right but on the sleeve. It works. Terrific. Yeah, we'll be making a, a grinder with mine. See? There. You, it could work. <laughs> but see how it does stretch it out nicely. All right. So well, I blew that. Stretched. Let's take a look at some of this delicious pizza. This. One of my favorite things of all time, the breakfast pizza. I think the ultimate invention. Tell me what's on that. It's terrific. Kids, as we know, sometimes are challenging to feed in the morning. So this is a breakfast pizza. Have fun with it. It has eggs on it. It has some sausage, some onions, and of course, cheese. Oh, see, you can eat pizza in the morning. You can, definitely can. And then on the opposite end of the spectrum, the dessert pizza. This, these are some dessert pizzas. The first one is an apple pie pizza. Once again, this has some apples. It has some apricot jelly, some ricotta, and then we have some delicious walnuts nuts and then a little cinnamon. Oh, yummy. And keeping with the dessert theme here, this is a giant chocolate chip cookie. That pizza? is correct. It's a giant chocolate chip cookie and, you know, your kids can have fun decorating it and making it look like a pizza. Oh, wow. And then on to the nooks and crannies. That's another favorite thing of pop a, a homemade pizza into the uh, the oven. Toaster oven. little toaster oven, right. That's right. Um, English muffin pizzas are terrific for kids, especially you don't have to deal with the flour and the dough. Uh, you can add any toppings that your kids enjoy, and it's something they can easily do in the toaster oven. Why do kids love pizza so much? I mean, it is the, my nieces and nephews, that's all they want to eat, pizza. That when kids are pulled, that is the number one dish that they want. I think there's a couple reasons why. First of all, I think they really like eating with their hands, yeah. and that you can definitely do with pizza. And I also think kids like to be able to make choices about what they're eating. And so with pizza, you can really decide what do you want on it, what size, it's great. But parents might be thinking, well, it's not healthy. Is, is pizza a healthy option for kids? I believe it is. You know, everything in uh, portions, uh, sizes is, is a real issue. But pizza, it, it, it fulfills so many of the categories in the food pyramid. So I don't think parents should be afraid. Now, if your child's eating it all the time, yeah. we should try to get in, um, you know, some other beneficial foods that, that are good for kids. But, you know, pizza's a great way to get in some vegetables, and kids won't even know about it. Okay, settle this age-old debate for me. What's better for breakfast? Bowl of Fruit Loops or cold pizza? Well, I gotta be honest with you, it's cold pizza. Yeah. The Fruit Loops have a bunch of sugar in it, and um, the pizza has the dairy, it's got the, um, the bread. So, uh, honestly, just to get your kids to eat breakfast is very important. So, if they want pizza, Go for it. Now, you brought some of this stuff, but what do folks at home need to make a good pizza at home? Well, I must be honest with you, I really like working with a pizza stone because I think one of the biggest complaints people get is that the dough is soggy. So I'd recommend it, and they're very reasonably priced now. When you get a pizza stone, it's important that you get a peel, which is what you put in the oven, So it's, and it makes it so much more fun for the kids to be able to put the pizza on and put it in the oven, and then when it's finished, they go in and take it out. So that's really important. And you should buy the pizza stone at a store. Don't let the kids go out and look for their own pizza stone. That is correct. There are specifically designed ceramic stones made for this particular uh, meal. Some things you can try at home, that would not be uh, uh, one of them. Right. And a good roller, I imagine, is uh, critical. Rolling pin is important, although we use this, uh, the technique of stretching with our hands, which works very well as well. What are some of the common mistakes people make when they're trying to put a pizza together at home? I'd say one of the mistakes is that they overcook the pizza. And you don't want to do that because that will dry it out. So really keep your eye on it. Um, you know, I'd say for about five, eight minutes and then take a look at it. And then just slowly, if you think it needs a little more, just do it by minute increments. Don't let it go too long. Um, so that, that would be my best suggestion. Now, Dan Andelman was saying, only the wussies, you know, mop off the grease with the paper towels on the pizza. But how, how do you make it uh, less greasy if you want? 
right. If you want, it does have to do with the cheese that you use. And so it's when the cheese extracts the oils. So use a lower fat cheese and don't use as much cheese. That will help cut back on the, uh, the greasiness. What do you think about the mopping up method? The, uh... I, mopping up is fine. Yeah, if you don't want all that grease, go right ahead. A paper towel works very well. Okay, another debate. Fresh or shredded mozzarella? Well, it's a really good question. And my philosophy is that you should just have what you like. But I must say, I go with the traditional shredded mozzarella because I just, it's what I was grown, grow up on and it's, it's great. Well, you're the expert. We'll take your word for it. Katie Wilton, thanks so much for joining Thank us. Thank you. Thanks for the apron. Uh -huh. I'll give it back to you after the show. <laughs> okay, coming up next, Phantom visits an East Boston legend with pizza so good, he almost forgets about the grimy floors and rude service. Plus, Phantom orders a little pasta to go along with all this pizza. Check out the region's best Italian restaurants coming up in the Great Eight. Where can you find something this rich, this decadent, this sophisticated? About five feet from the munchkins and jelly donuts. Leave your passport at home and explore the exciting world of food at the Super 88 Market. Over 70,000 delectable products from around the world. At Super 88 Market, you'll find the best tropical fruits and vegetables at prices you'll love. Gigantic freshwater tanks with live fish, lobsters, and crabs. Piping hot Asian barbecue cooked right on the premises. And aisles jam-packed with soy sauce, spices, even exotic cookies. It's the biggest selection of ingredients from around the world. Super 88 Markets, Alston, Boston, Dorchester, and Quincy. At Jasper White Summer Shack, food is love. Relax, have fun, and get messy with the freshest fish and lobsters in town. Prepared by the man who literally wrote the book on New England cooking. The Summer Shack is open year-round for lunch and dinner. Jasper White Summer Shack, the baddest, best clam shack on earth. On Dalton Street in Boston's Back Bay, across from Alwife Station in Cambridge, or at Mohegan Sun in Uncasville, Connecticut. Food is love. New England is Giant Country! Who do you call when your windshield's busted? Call Giant Glass. Call it, call it, this is called Giant. Done right, done fast. Yeah, wherever you are. Call number 1-800-54-GIANT. From Maine to Providence, Worcester to Cape Cod and the Islands, the Big Blue Band will come to you with service as big as our name. Giant! 1-800-54-GIANT. Pacific Buffet, Framingham's oasis for your favorite Asian food. Come in and enjoy our warm and friendly atmosphere. Then taste from our fresh and carefully prepared appetizers, main courses, and desserts. A huge variety of culinary delights awaits you, from prime rib and Peking duck to sushi and dim sum. Visit our gourmet center where you select your own ingredients to create noodle soups, barbecue, or stir fry. Pacific Buffet, open for lunch, dinner, and weekend brunch. Takeout and function facilities are available. Pacific Buffet, Route 9 East in Framingham. The smooth taste of Dunkin' Donuts coffee you love, now served at home. Dunkin' Donuts coffee by the pound. For a fresh, delicious cup, it's just a thing. Available in-store or online. Welcome back to the Phantom Gourmet. In this next restaurant report card, Phantom orders up grilled lamb, sausage, and a perfect pepperoni pie. Santarpio's in East Boston is a dingy pizza shop with a lengthy bar. Boxing pictures and posters hang from thin wooden walls, while formica tables and jukebox beats fill the room. The menu lists limited barbecue and uncomplicated traditional pizza. To start, the lamb kebabs came tough with fibrous texture, while nicely charred sausage sported black pepper spice. Sides of cherry peppers added exciting fire, and rustic Italian bread tempered the heat. As for pizzas, the pepperoni hid moist salami under thick, rich cheese, while the wonderfully plain sauce let the toppings shine. The same chewy, crisp crust formed an awesome white pie with minced garlic, tender green peppers, and a gorgeous browned top. There's no dessert, but diehard sweet tooths can spin stale M&Ms from the candy machine. Pies come in one large size, measuring 12 tantalizing inches. Servers are feisty and rude. One waiter bumped into Phantom and scolded the incognito critic for getting in the way. Santarpio's 
needs a power wash inside and out. Worn vinyl seats and a weathered floor were downright dirty. Values scored a perfect 10. Barbecue costs four bucks and pizzas are 10.50. Santarpio's on Chelsea Street in Eastie is convenient to Logan Airport, but street parking is strictly residential. Phantom gives Santarpio's a total of 74 Phantom approved. Santarpio's is at 111 Chelsea Street in Eastie. Well, it's all about pizza on the show today, or at least it has been until right now. We don't want to neglect our other tempting Italian treats like pasta, panini, risotto, and my favorite, ravioli. So today, Phantom finds eight great Italian restaurants outside of the North End in the Grade 8, presented by Super 88 Market. Italian food has Phantom twirled up in spaghetti and wide awake with espresso. In this week's Great Eight, Phantom salutes eight great Italian eateries outside of the North End. Carlo's Cucina Italiana in Alston is modestly decorated with country European murals in a cramped space, but the white meat selection blows away the competition. The lengthy red sauce menu lists many mouth-watering preparations, each with a choice of chicken or veal. Phantom goes for prosciutto, spinach, and cheese-stuffed Veal. Davio's in the Back Bay in Cambridge is Phantom's favorite Italian steakhouse. The huge open kitchen puts out pasta along with chops and prime aged beef. There's also a pizza bar and an in house bakery whipping up desserts, pastries, and breads. Impressive columns mark the elegant setting, and the open wine room displays 300 selections. Campagna is a tiny Waltham trattoria with romantic atmosphere and fresh flowers on the tables. Old world cuisine includes crusty peasant bread, pasta, wood oven dishes, and tender braised meats. Phantom loves the antipasti spread of red peppers, fennel, and eggplant draped in basil oil. Tosca in Hingham is rustically designed with rough exposed brick, mahogany, extravagant tiles, and an open kitchen. The menu is devotedly Italian with pasta and pizza, but there's also good use of New England seafood like shrimp, scallops, and lobster. Porcini's in Watertown is intimate like a European cafe with colorful murals and a glowing fire place. The Mediterranean menu is wide-ranging, but it's the risotto that shines. Short grain rice is full of rich stock flavor with a lusciously creamy texture. Gnocchi at Number 9 Park on Beacon Hill, Family Style at the Vinnie T's Chain, and Calamari at Delfino in Roslindale round out Phantom's Italian Great Eight. And to check out Phantom's Great Eights from fast food to fine dining, log on to phantomgourmet.com. You can sign up for the fan club to receive our weekly email newsletter. Plus, you'll be entered to win Dunkin' Donuts gift certificates. We'll be right back. Like fine wine, Frank's Steakhouse in Cambridge just keeps getting better. Opened in 1938, Frank's is still known for fabulous steaks like Frank's famous Sizzler. But Frank's doesn't stop there. How about king cut prime rib or succulent chicken in shrimp dishes? Their well-trained kitchen staff grills and sautés your food with uncanny expertise. And make sure to save room for Frank's awesome desserts. It's like going to a New York steakhouse for half the money. Frank's Steakhouse, 2310 Mass Ave, Cambridge. Phantom gives the Kowloon a 10 for the best place to have your holiday party. That's right. Kowloon is the perfect place to hold your holiday party with special packages that include buffet, comedy, and DJ starting at $25.95 per person. Can't come to Kowloon? Our full-service catering can come to you. Call Kowloon at 781-233-0077. And by the way, I'm not the Phantom Gourmet. Kowloon, Route 1, Saugus. Happy holiday. In 1916, my grandfather, Salvatore Piantidosi, began delivering fresh-baked breads and rolls house to house. Today, this tradition of excellence and commitment to value continues with the third generation of the Piantidosi family. We are proud to announce that you can now buy our quality breads fresh daily at your local grocers. Look for a variety of delicious Piantidosi bread products in the deli section of fine supermarkets throughout New England. Piantidosi Baking Company, where quality is a tradition. Naked Fish, deliciously different dining with a luscious Latin influence. Naked Fish entices your senses with a fun, funky, flavorful setting. And the Cuban menu cooks 
with shrimp and scallops in a skillet over risotto, or swordfish with black beans and white rice. Relax with an icy cool Cuban cocktail, like the magnificent mojito with fresh crushed mint. It will all make you want to get naked tonight. Naked Fish. For over 17 years, Cafe Brazil has brought you the best authentic Brazilian food. We personally invite you to come in and savor the taste of our excellent cuisine and to enjoy our family atmosphere, complete with live music and friendly service. These are the qualities that have delighted our customers time and time again, making Cafe Brazil the perfect place for all occasions. Cafe Brazil, authentic Brazilian food and atmosphere. 421 Cambridge Street in Alston. Welcome back to the Phantom Gourmet. Some people like a thick Chicago-style deep dish pizza, and others like me like the nice, thin, crispy crust. And as you'll learn in this Newbury College cooking class, sometimes the thinner the pizza, the tastier it can be. The name of the dish is Crazy Crisp Crust Pizza. The dough ingredients include warm water, active dry yeast, unbleached all-purpose flour, and salt. And for toppings, use grated Parmesan, garlic, olive oil, mozzarella, and chef cheeses, sun-dried tomatoes, olives, and basil. To prepare, place a ball of dough on a lightly floured surface. And using a rolling pin, shape it into a thin 14-inch circle. Immediately transfer to a floured pizza peel and brush with olive oil. Then spread on the cheeses, along with the garlic, tomatoes, and olives, and a little sprinkled Parmesan. Carefully slide onto a hot pizza stone and bake until bubbly and brown. This light, airy, crispy pizza sings with a crunchy crust, gooey cheese, and fresh, delicious toppings. For the complete recipe from Newbury College, log on to The Cooking Class at phantomgourmet.com. Oh, I'd love to get two slices of that, of that to go, please, can I? Dave Vandelman is the creator of Phantom Gourmet's TV show, but more importantly, he has a passion for pizza that runs so deep. Check this out, he once chose a pizza cutter as his weapon of choice in a street fight. Is that the one the uh, guy with the vegetable peeler got the best of you? <laughs> you think it's easy to fight your streets out of the, uh, fight your way out of the mean streets of Linfield, David? I mean, the you gotta take every edge of you can. Hey, in your mind, is pizza the most versatile food there is? It's gotta be. I mean, a pizza can put almost anything on it. I mean, these days, you know, fries, steak, chicken fingers, I mean, anything. You ask me one food I can have the rest of my life, I'm saying pizza. It can be cheap to gourmet, it can be a meal to a snack, it can be breakfast to dinner. It doesn't get any better than that. And you can pretty much take it anywhere, a ball game or whatever. It it's travels well, doesn't it? It goes with any occasion. I mean, for instance, when we made our deal to bring Phantom Gourmet to UPN 38, what did we do? We went out and got two uh, pepperoni pizzas and a case of Corona, and we went crazy, okay? Next night, friend of mine calls me. He's all upset, broke up with his girlfriend. What do we do? Go out and get pizza, you know? I mean, David, this, this food can be the best of times or the worst of times, but it always tastes good. I never thought of it as a breakup com comfort food, but I, I guess it can be. And it works well with all different kinds of beverages. You mentioned Corona, but it's more versatile than I, just I pizza think, and beer, I right? I think pizza goes the best with bottled beer, all right? And I, I always think bottled beer tastes better than out of the tap. Tap, too many things can go wrong. I like a bottle of beer. Now, wine has become kind of cool. You know, people think, oh, it'll be so fun. We'll have wine with, uh, with our pizza. It doesn't taste nearly as good. And if you're going to get soda, I don't understand chemically why this is, Root beer tastes way better with pizza than Coke. Root beer is better than Coke? Better than Coke with, you know, with pizza. I don't understand why. Oh. Yeah. Well, as we know, you are sort of a uh, mathematician as well. Yes. And once again, we're going to throw some numbers at our viewers here because you are the expert on the ratio of what should go on in the ingredients of a pizza. Tell us about I that. I had a long, long closed-door meeting with the Phantom Gourmet himself, and we updated what we like to call our pie chart, which assigns the importance of each part of the pizza. We think it's cheese 30%, sauce 20%, dough 25%, and this is the shocking part, David, toppings. 25%. The Phantom thinks those are almost like special teams in football, you know, often overlooked, but a lot of times they really make the difference. I mean, you give me an average sort of pizza with awesome toppings on it, you know, a really perfect pepperoni, it can put you over the top. 
Wow, I would think toppings would be more than uh, 25. More than 25? Yeah. I thought the fan was being bold to go as high as 25%. Now, do you really eat it three meals a day, pizza? Uh, you know, I don't, but I mean, you, you know, you're one of Boston's most credible, creative reporters, David, and, and every time there's a blizzard, wow. you are, and every time there's a blizzard out there, everybody runs out and does the same story, right? People are buying milk, bread, and water. You know what I do? I get four large pizzas and uh, two six-packs of Diet Pepsi. I'm good to go for two, three days. I don't know. Why, why are you getting bread? I mean, who wants to live on that for two days? Now, speaking of reporting, uh, I've done some research here. And according have. to the American Dairy Association, pizza yep. is America's fourth most craved food. Fourth behind cheese, chocolate, and ice cream. I don't know. That don't must buy. just enrage I don't buy, you. I don't buy it. There's no way that's, first of all, it's the American Dairy Association. I mean, clearly they have, they have, you know, they have a bias in this fight. I, I've Faulty never been, study. I mean, look, I've never been sitting around with somebody and they go, you know, I am just hankering for a hunk of cheese. You know, that's what I'm in the mood for. No, they want a pizza, or to me, I tend to crave steak. So I, I don't know about this. Maybe you can look into this, David, with your resources. Maybe you can find out if that's really true. Okay, it's your last meal, yeah. all right? You can yeah. only have one thing. And that's I know it. you love all kinds of food. <laughs> yeah. What's it going to be? I think uh, if I were going to the chair, is that the question here? I get one well, more. Well, I wasn't going to go there. <laughs> one more time to eat. <laughs> you mean the barber chair, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, there's, a, there's a place uh, called uh, the Pizza Barn in Center Ossipee, New Hampshire. It's literally a barn. Pretty much all they do is pizza. And their biggest pizza is called a barn. Okay, that's the size of the pizza. And they take a stack of pepperoni and hamburger. It's like an inch high. I think that's not only the best pizza, maybe the best meal on the whole planet. Wow, it's funny you should mention pizza, Brian, because young man, we have a little surprise for you. Look who Brother Dan brought in. The truth today. is, here at Phantom Gourmet Inc., we make dreams come true. Dave, you're my <laughs> brother, <laughs> and I love you. And we brought no Kathy Meter from the oh pizza barn God. here for you today. Your favorite hamburger pepperoni. Oh my God, she's like my mom, this lady. I love her to know death. About this, right? this is it, this is my, no, I, I didn't know. This is the best meal on the planet. And you just brought it to me already? Right? I did. Oh. Kathy, how far are drivers are for you to get here today? Two and a half hours. Oh my God, you are the best. <laughs> Help yourself anything. to a all slice. Right, I'm going to town. We're, We're all going to manja here. See, here, see if I'm telling the truth. Honest to God, I'm oh, so wow, glad she's baby. here. This oh, is it. This look at that. Look at what? the amount of pepperoni and burger on that. Can you see that in the oh, control yeah. room? And the two and a half hour ride, it still looks great too. <laughs> <laughs> it's honestly the world's greatest pepperoni. Oh my God. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Pizza, that. Man. Is a slice. I'd accept us both going to the chair if we could get this. <laughs> All right, Kathy, thanks for coming in. Thank Kathy, you. I, I love you. Thank Thank you. Bye. I love you. Love me too. Well, coming up next, this may look like a salad bar, but it's actually a whole new concept in per personalized pizza, pizza making. Bar. Check it out next in the Hidden Jewel. Yeah. The Sea Witch Restaurant in Peabody, catching the North Shore's finest seafood, fried, broiled, and their famous Maine lobsters and full raw bar with delicious oysters. Incredible seafood dinners at affordable prices at the Sea Witch. Route 1 North, Peabody. Midwest Grill in Cambridge. With over 10 years of experience, the Midwest Grill's style is unique. Featuring a large selection of salads and delicious native Brazilian dishes served in special iron pots. The house specialty is an all-you-can-eat, never-ending grilled meat barbecue and buffet featuring beef, pork, chicken, and lamb. Enjoy live Brazilian music every night. The Midwest Grill is your Brazilian restaurant. The Midwest Grill, 1124 Cambridge Street, Cambridge. The sign says it all. You've never seen a store like this. Yummies on Route 1 in Kittery, Maine is a candy store like no other. Over 10,000 pounds of candy and nuts on display from floor to ceiling, front to back, wall to wall, and side to side. Yummy sells all your favorite sweet treats and specializes in old-fashioned and hard-to-find candies. See for yourself why people come here from all over the country. Visit Yummies on Route 1 in Kittery or place your order online at yummies.com. Yummies, you've never seen a store like this. At Taipei in Tokyo, we serve satisfaction. Each meal is freshly created from scratch and expertly prepared by our master chef. Once you've experienced our sensational Chinese and Japanese cuisine and our world-class sushi, you'll agree with the Phantom Gourmet who gave Taipei in Tokyo a fantastic rating of 94. 
superior Asian food with phenomenal portions and unfathomable prices. Authentic Chinese meets delicious Japanese at Taipei and Tokyo in Bedford, New Hampshire. Welcome back to the Phantom Gourmet. You know, some people can be so picky about what toppings they want on their pizza, but in this week's Long's Jewelers Hidden Jewel, Phantom finds a pizza parlor where even the most finicky foodie can personalize their pie. When you show up at Pizza by Design in Weymouth, have your appetite and creativity ready. Because inside this little pizza shop, there are a lot of delicious decisions to make. As the name implies, at Pizza by Design, you design the pizza. We have three different size pizzas, and we have a box, a small box that goes for each size pizza, and we let our customers come in and go over to our toppings bar and select all the ingredients for toppings that they think would be great on a pizza. The topping bar is filled with dozens of tempting treats to pile on your pie. Some stay simple with items like pepperoni, onions, and mushrooms, and others go crazy with corn, black beans, and even mixed greens. Pizzas can be popped into the oven and ready in minutes, or wrapped up raw for you to take and bake at home. If culinary creativity is not your specialty, the menu is packed with pizzas where the designing is already done. The buffalo is topped with smoked bacon, chicken, blue cheese, barbecue sauce, and can be made as spicy as you like. The Teresa has chopped meatballs, roasted peppers, spinach, and Romano cheese. The pizzas are full of flavor, but many customers are flocking to Pizza by Design because pies can also be created with good health in mind. One of our most popular pizzas is called the Very Veggie Pizza, uh, and that pizza is just loaded with fresh vegetables and has about a quarter of the amount of regular cheese that uh, a pizza has on it. And sometimes it isn't a matter of eliminating cheese altogether, it's just reducing the amount without sacrificing the integrity of a good pizza. In fact, Pizza by Design is one of the few restaurants around that offers soy cheese in addition to the mainstream mozzarella. What I'm finding out is people really do want that. And when people hear soy cheese, Believe it or not, they come in for soy cheese these days. Besides ordering a healthful pizza, a calorie-conscious customer can enjoy roll-up sandwiches and a variety of specialty salads. You know, it always surprises me who our customers are. Sometimes, you know, I'll get these big construction guys coming in for lunch, and, you know, I'm always a little hesitant that they're going to come in. But, you know, a lot of those construction guys are still looking for something a little healthier, too. So whether you're trying to stay healthy or looking to feed a healthy appetite, Take your topping talents for a spin at Pizza by Design. A Phantom Gourmet Hidden Jewel. Pizza by Design is located at 148 Washington Street in Weymouth. Now, do I have a great job or what? This is David Robichaux asking if you visit a restaurant seen on this show, tell them the Phantom sent you and reminding anybody out there who operates a restaurant, treat every customer like a critic because you never know which one could be a Phantom Gourmet. Monday night at 8 on UPN 38.